hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is sky tech digital now in this video we're going to learn how to be able to add a click to email button or a click to email link in wordpress so we are going to use two strategies one to use the gutenberg blog to be able to add a click to email buttons or a click to email um you know links in wordpress and then the second one we're going to use elementor to be able to showcase it over there now without waiting much time let's go over there now um what we're going to do is this is the page that i'm going to add the click to um you know but click to email button over here so let's say you want to add a button whereby people will click on it and then they will be able to redirect it to your to to just go and then you know just type their um, mail and then go straight and then um just do whatever they want to do and then go over there now it is very simple so over here i'm going to click on this plus button or i can click on this um you know uh, plus button over here so it depends so two things involved so i can just um click on this one over here, add block or i can click on this one over here okay so wherever which other way i can be able to do that so to do that i'm going to click over here and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to search for button so you can search for button so this is the button over here and then add the button and then i'll say maybe email us okay so email us which is a button that i'm doing and then um i'll put my email um link over there so i'm going to hover on all this one over here and then click on the link over here and then i'll write mail two okay and then i'll put a colon over there and then just write my email address which is service at kitech digital dot com okay and then i'll click on what um you know enter i'll press enter so i have what i've done the button now what i need to do is um maybe to style the button so um to style the button so let me just um, bring back um this one this one the sidebar over here so that the the settings of the button will come over here so and this is the the button over here so let's say i want to style the button over here so first of all let me go to uh, make it you know 50 percent over here and then go to the style over here and then choose you know what kind of um, color that i want so with the background over here I can choose any kind of background theme that I want. Now, this is from my theme, okay? So, um, I can also go to gradient over here and then choose any kind of, you know, color that I want. So, let's say I want this particular color. Or, oh, let me just choose this color to match with my theme and then I'll be good to go. So, I'll just update it over here. And then, if I go and check it on the front end over here, so I'm going to just refresh it. And then let's see if the button appears over there so yes this is the button which is email us so if i click on this one um, it's supposed to open my email client for me for mail clients for me for me to be able to uh, send an email over there so as you can see it has already been what it's already been um, filled over here i can go ahead and enter my um my subject and then my email and then ready to what ready to go so that is how you can be able to add the button now, what if you want to add a link or add the, you know, um, the mail to, to a link, okay? So, you can still make it a link, clickable link. You can still do same, okay? So, let's just go over here. And then, let's say we, instead of have fun over here, we want to say email us, okay? So, we can say just email us, okay? Which is just like this one. And then, we, you know, just um, highlight it over here and then just click on this link icon over here and then just write the mail to and then colon and then we enter our um, email address over there so service at kitech digital digital dot com okay so and then we press on enter and that is it report we've, we've created a link over here so let's just um, update it and then go back to the front end to be able to preview it and check it to see how it looks like so that is it the link over here now when i click on the link it will still give me this particular mail client for me to be able to enter my um 
just send a message to the company that i want um i want to send an email to so basically that is how you can be able to add a button and a link um email click to email button and link in wordpress using the gutenberg blog now let's say you are using elementor to work and then you want to you know um, add a button and a link in what in elementor page builder so you can also do same so, so with this um contact us button over here okay so with this contact us button over here so let's say we want to what we want to just you know add a button instead of a uh, call us over here we want to add another button which says what email us okay so we can also do so so let's come over here and then i've opened my um elementor over here so this is what my elementor page builder now and i need the callers i want to also add a button which says what um email us okay so i can also do same so i'm gonna click on this group icon over here and then instead of um you know um i will go to sh uh, i will just search for button over here then drag in the button widget underneath this one now after dragging in the button widget over here now i can just rename the text on it to say email us and then over here which says what link okay so within this uh, box over here i can just type in my mail to colon and i type in my email address over there okay so i'll be able to what, have this one over here and then if i update it i'm supposed to um be able to make this one a clickable um you know click to mail button so click to email button so let me just go and then check it out so um let's say i'm gonna go over here and then click on the contact and then if i scroll down i'm gonna see this button over here now forget about the spacing over here just this button over here. now if i click on it i'm supposed to get this what um mail or my mail client open for me for me to send a mail to this company okay so basically that is it now let's say i want to make a link or even an icon okay so whatever um, thing i want to do so over here you see that there is an icon over here okay now this particular one is an icon um list so i see this one that is the second one which is the email over here so i can click on it and then you know the text over here now beneath here there is what there is a um, um how do you call it a place you can be able to type in your link over here so the same thing i'll just type in mail to and then a colon and then i can be able to type in my email address okay just type in my email address and then i'm ready to what ready to just update it and then it's going to what it's going to give me um whatever thing that i'm supposed to what i'm supposed to do over there okay so i am good to go now um i can also you know just use um, a text or anything so for instance if i come over here and then just drag in a text widget over here okay and then i will say maybe email email us email us email us and then beneath here there is a link over here so i can just type in my mail to colon um and then just add my my email address over there or the company's email address over there and then i can just publish it okay now the same way you can also use um, an icon or whatever it is so beside that within this icon or you can add what um you know an email over there so let's say i want to add you know an icon so i can just search for icon over here and then this particular icon i can just drag the icon over here and then change this one to email okay so maybe um mail or envelope okay so let me just search for envelope and then i'm going to use this particular one over here and then insert it i want to add a link to this particular one so that it will be clickable so it's still the same thing i'll just say mail to and then you know just use the colon and then just type in my um, email address over there and then if i'm done all what i need to do is to what to publish it or to update whatever i've done so if i go to the page and then let's just refresh it and we check on all the things that we did okay so as you can see this one um is working it's become a, a clickable link over here let me just close this one this one also has become a clickable link it's also the same thing 
and then the same thing also this one has also become a clickable um icon okay so basically everything is what um works perfectly fine all right guys so let's say you um you want to add an email as button or link but this time around what you want to do is you want to uh, make sure that when the person clicks on the link um there'll be like a message populated already uh, drafted already for the person to be able to you know um continue with it or um you know just send that particular message you want the person to send to you so sometimes you know clients and users have one particular message that they want to ask okay so you want to populate that then so that the person will not be even typing just um click on the button and then um, that message will come with the email just sent to you straight away okay and that is what we are going to do so and what we will do is um this time around instead of just adding the mail to um link over here now we have to add some small um details to it okay so that i wouldn't just be mailed to um to this you know um um, email address just alone but we're going to add some certain things to it so i'll leave a code or uh, some of the code that you have to use in the description so that you know um, just copy and then change the details over there and then you'll be able to what um, build on it to follow this tutorial so over here you see that we only have um let me edit this link we only have the mail to service at um you know kitechdata.com now we're going to add this code okay so now instead of you see the code over here this particular code over here that is where we are going to paste in in the link um over here so instead of mail to and then your um email address over here now we're going to add this question mark over here and then we will bring a subject over here okay and then the subject will be equal to your um subject which you want to um you know um write so maybe the subject will be let's say an inquiry okay so an inquiry inquiry about let's say um web design okay so that will be what that will be our um subject and then you see this one which says and body okay so over here you also clean this message and then you write any message that you want to what you want to write over there so um let's say um i want to say maybe hi um how much is a simple web design cost so let's say this is what you want um you know to to write okay in the body and then or uh, in the message and then you will be able to just copy just copy this one over here and then let's um delete this this one over here so i'm going to just replace what i just did with this one so um i'm going to paste this one over here and then i'm going to save it so i've saved it now i can go ahead and then click on um you know update to update whatever I've, I've done now let me go over and then you know go to um this place let me just refresh it so let me go to the sample the sample um page over here and i'm going to refresh it and then you see what i'm talking about okay so this is our email to over here so if you click on this one um, it's supposed to open an email link for us okay so that we'll be able to what be able to go ahead and then you know um start sending the email to the administrator of the email or the company that we are talking about okay now guys as you can see over here it has done exactly that okay so as you can see the subject which is inquiry and then the message that we um you know we typed over there is also um, populated over here so now the the um you know the the user or the client can be able to just send this one without you know um typing any message just populate it and then send it um to you okay or the um the person can either delete this one and then um, type in their own message over there okay so basically um that is how you can be able to just you know add an email link or a button with you know populated message um straight away to your um, the business owner or whoever it is that 
and wants to send a message to you so um, i hope this one also helps so that is the second part of it so you can use this same skill in you know um using with elementor okay so if it is elementor that you want to do just come over here and then the email us over here just you know edit it okay just click on edit over here and then you can be able to go ahead and then put your um put your you know the the mail to with the uh, message and subject over here just like we did it in this one okay so just like we did it in this one just follow the same um you know the same procedure and then you'll be able to uh, go just change your email address over here and then also change um with the subject maintain this particular line over here equal to just replace the subject hello with your um, subject over here and then you write end and then the body and then you equal to with your what you with your message okay so as simple as that so this is how you can be able to add um or make a click to mail or uh, email buttons in wordpress whether buttons icons or even text you can what just add them in wordpress thank you for watching this video See you in the next video. Bye-bye.